Hey loves, so I'm going to be starting off with my Milani eyeshadow primer which you can pick up at any drugstore. I really like this primer, it's really inexpensive and it does hold your eyeshadow throughout the day. The next thing I'm going to use is my L'Oreal True Match facial press powder as a transition color for my eyelids. I love using this because it's really affordable plus it really makes your eyeshadow colors just blend in really well. Now onto the palette from Coastal Sense, which is the Revealed Palette 2. This is a dupe to me of like any naked palette kind of combined together. I'm just going to take that kind of like plumish color and sweep it over the crease of my eye with my Sonia Kashuk brush. Love these Sonia Kashuk brushes. You can pick them up at any Target. I'm going to also be using a little darker plumish color in that palette and just deepen the eye crease. Now onto a matte off-white color just to apply that to my brow bone. I don't like any type of shimmer underneath my brows so I'm going to just blend that in softly with one of my favorite brands which is the Sonia, um, excuse me, which is the Sedona Lace Brushes. I use them frequently. For a lighter color to my lower lids or rather not even to my lower lids, I'm still doing my brows, duh. <laughs> okay, so anyway, if you're interested in an eyebrow tutorial, I will be posting a newer version up. There is one already on my channel, but I'm going to be using the new Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade, which I absolutely am loving. For my lower lids, I'm using this kind of peachy, very light peachy kind of light frost color and I'm going to just sweep that over to my entire bottom eyelid. Of course it does look a little messy in the beginning but I will be fixing that up throughout the video. To make my crease a little bit more, more defined I'm going to take that black which is not too dark but it is just r the right vibrancy for me. I'm going to take that and kind of do like a V and also give my eyelids a winged out look. This Milani Eye Tech Eyeliner Pencil is one that I really recommend. It does go on really smoothly, but if you're really wing challenged with any other type of eyeliner, then I would suggest giving that a try. I'm gonna go ahead now and just put on some of my facial products. Um, I've already applied some of my foundation, but I'm gonna take my blender sponge, which you can pick up now at Walmart, and I'm going to apply my Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation and I'm going to just blend that on with my blender sponge. I actually love this sponge. It really works seamlessly and it does well with any type of skin complexion. I now use it along with my Sedona Buffer. Now I know this is basically an affordable makeup tutorial but I just decided to use my MAC concealer just a little bit and then to top it off I'm going to be using Hard Candy which is their heavy duty um, concealer. It's called Gamouflage. You don't really need a lot of this. I don't really use it anymore. This video is a little bit uh, late to post. Um, I like to use my Mary Kay but you can also use like Maybelline New York which is their master concealer and I actually love that. Now I am going to be blending this in more which you didn't see here and I'm going to use my facial press powder just to make my concealer stick. One of my favorites is Fashion Fair which has been around for a just a long time, decades. And I'm going to use that for a contour and contour my nose with my Con Sonia Kashuk contouring brush. This was a collection and I really like this collection a lot. But to put that on top because I don't like it too dark, I'm going to use that same pressed powder and just contour my nose just a little bit with that Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I love this brush. I use it for my eyes, for my nose area. So it's a really versatile brush. Flowers Cosmetics is another brand that you can pick up at like Walmart, which is by Drew Barrymore. And this is their highlighting chubby stick, which is Shimmer Pearl. I love this one. I use this a lot in a lot of my videos because it just gives me that iridescent glow. And I really, really like it. Now, just for my contour of my cheeks, I also did use that L'Oreal True Match Press Powder. And the color that I use is Cocoa. The brush that I'm actually using is my Sedona Lace Jumbo Fan Brush, which is absolutely great for any type of contour. And for my under eye, I'm going to be using the Milani um, Cole Eyeliner Pencil, which I absolutely say is one eyeliner pencil that you should make sure you have in your makeup collection. I'm going to fill in my individual lashes and darken them up with some mascara as well as for the bottom lashes I'm going to go ahead and darken them as well. My everyday pressed powder which I swear by is Milani 
uh, multitask facial powder this time I'm using the tan color uh, I do switch back and forth because it all depends on the season just some kisses for my little lover man my grandson Cameron I love him so much and he's getting so big now for my cheeks, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. product, which is their e.l.f. Studio. e.l.f. is such an affordable brand. They do go up to blushes, lipsticks, eyeliners, and they also have dollar products. So if you're needing some makeup, then check them out. My lip liner is also a dollar, which is in a plum color by Nika K. New York. And you can get this from Shop Miss A, or also you can get it from IK House. One of my new favorites is from Georgiana Cosmetics, which is a sister co um, company to Milani. And this is a cheaper version of their lipsticks, meaning just less expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and put my unit on that I created by Premier Lace Wigs. I made this unit out of three bundles and a closure. And I'm just going to go ahead and part that. And while I'm doing this, I am on the phone with my boyfriend, my boo. So, yeah, I love this wig. It's so full. It's short. It's 16. It's 14, uh, 12, 14, 16 inches. I was going for something shorter, and I do have a video on YouTube for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the information for these particular items will be listed for you guys below. The hair that I'm rocking is actually from Premier Lace Wigs and this is a unit that I created. If you're interested in getting a in-stock wig or a custom wig, you can always check my website out, which is gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, stay diva and divolicious and I'll be back soon. Bye.